Good morning. Today we're on site at a large commercial project that's being constructed here in Midvale, Utah. On this project, the design calls for the use of structural lightweight concrete. You know, you might hear it said that structural lightweight concrete, it can't be or it just doesn't pump well. But like any other concrete pumping project, with the proper preparation, knowing a few key points, and everybody involved understanding their role, it can easily be pulled off. The first step is to make sure that the lightweight aggregate is properly saturated and that proper material handling practices have been carried out at the ready mix concrete batch plant. The proportioning of the concrete mixture will be slightly different than that of normal weight concrete. This is due to the density considerations needed on your project. Your ESCS producer will have valuable knowledge and expertise on helping assure that the concrete mixture will meet the specifications and have the desired properties to be a pumpable mixture. Having an experienced and knowledgeable concrete pumping contractor on the project is also an especially important part of the overall success of the plan. Knowing the nuances of placing structural lightweight concrete with a concrete pump and the proper setup of the pumping system is crucial for success. We're talking to Joe Watson, the project superintendent for Burbage Concrete Pumping in Salt Lake City. Joe, in your opinion, what's the main difference between pumping lightweight concrete and normal weight concrete? The difference between lightweight and regular weight concrete, normal concrete, is the key to success for lightweight is you have to have soap with water uh, not so much chemicals uh, but you need the water to saturate the uh, the material so the pump isn't pressuring it through and absorbing the moisture in the material and then we end up with a real dry slump at the end and it's wet at the beginning of the pump so the key is water saturation that's it Problem when you pump lightweight is this. A lot of people think when a pump can't pump concrete, the more pressure you're gonna put to it to make it pump. Well, what we found out is the more pressure you put with lightweight, it's compacting, it's putting more pressure, head pressure on that concrete, and it's absorbing the moisture into the material. It makes it worse. You have to finesse it through. You can't ram it through. You just gotta ask it through. By approaching the project as a team, with all interested parties, the design engineer, general contractor, the ready mix concrete producer, testing lab, pumping subcontractor, and of course, your ESCS supplier, involved from the beginning, many potential problems will be averted. So for more information, use the link and find out how you can use the team approach for success on your next project. And remember, ESCSI and your ESI producer should always be considered your source for information.